Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, welcome to the breakout session of Twinner, one of our gold partner. In this presentation, uh, Thomas Becher, uh, Chief Growth Officer, and Marcus Hoffman, Head of Product Line Management, will present the importance of trust, transparency, and convenience for online car remarketing. Beyond introducing the existing technology, uh, they will present also the newest result of the in-house surface uh, analysis sensor. At any time, so at any time during the presentation, feel free to share your questions in the text chat of the session. So as you can see, you are able uh, to uh, share your questions during the presentation. And at the end of the presentation, of course, um, Thomas and Marcus will be happy to answer, of course. So and now, um, so uh, time now for presentation, Thomas and Marcus. So the virtual stage is yours. Yes, thank you, Daniel, for introduction and uh, welcome and good afternoon from Twinner in Germany. And yes, as Daniel said, we want to talk about the trust um, in core remarketing and used car sales. But let's start with the opposite of trust, and at, uh, this is actually lemons. So. Let's talk about lemons, but uh, first of all, let me introduce um, my colleague who is joining me, Markus Hoffmann, uh, Head of product, product, man product Management at Twinner. So he's an experienced person in product management, has a media technology and communication background, and uh, is working with Twinner since more than 10 years and has really deep insight into this business um, in digitalization in automotive industry. Myself, my name is Thomas Becher. I'm Chief Growth Officer of Twinner. Uh, I'm an engineer, but a business development uh, person by heart, having an experience um, as um, a founder in several businesses, was working many, many years in the connected car business uh, in my company that is now known as, or was known as TomTom Telematics and now is um, found a new home within Bridgestone. So, in the fleet business, and I think fleet customers are also uh, customers of yours and of ours today, and that's why we really would like to talk about lemons. So I'm sure that lemons or a lemon core is a term that most of you are familiar with. Um, so um, I think um, few, or just hope that just a few of you really made an experience of a lemon car. I don't know. Um, um, in, a, in a big audience, I would ask you to raise your hands who already made a bad, a really bad lemon experience, but that's not possible in this online presentation right now. So I will tell you about, about my personal lemon experience. And I, I, I promise you, this was really bad. So what happened um, just four years ago, you know, I was attracted by a by an online um, advertisement of a real nice American traditional uh, vintage car, a 50 years old Ford Mustang, advertised with a lot of nice pictures, close up pictures, detailed pictures, and a very, very well written description. And what generated my biggest appetite was the statement it was completely restored. So what have you in mind if you buy a completely restored vintage cars, a vintage car, you expect that everything is fine. It's absolutely fine. And finally, what happened after the delivery, I spent some time taking out the carpet uh, during winter time and I found this rusty holes, a lot of rust in the, um, in the, in the floor panel. So it was all covered with paint. So you couldn't see it when inspecting the car. You couldn't see it on the pictures, but this actually was a lemon. And it was really painful, not just because of the money, it also hurts. You know, if, if, you, if you fall in love with the car, you bring it home, uh, you spend a lot of money, you present to your, your family, to your friends, and then you see that actually it's a lemon. So that's, 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 a big, that's a big issue. Now, you can imagine, um, so I didn't trust this dealer anymore, but anyway, I made a deal and uh, brought the car over from the US to Europe. Uh, so it wasn't easy, you know, to run into a legal claim or whatsoever. 
Uh, but just to give this as an example to you, and we have more and more online car sales ongoing right now, even for US car, if it's just a small percentage of the entire market, but it's heavily increasing. And there are more and more parties remarketing used cars via online channels. And even more on online channels, it's quite important that you build up trust. Trust, trust, trust. So that's the number one keyword if you read about car dealerships, if you read about online channels uh, for car trading. And what is quite surprising that even what you can read on that headline, trust is more important than price. So if you can trust the online platform, if you can trust that you that you get what you see there, nothing is hidden, it's full transparent, then you you will buy that car and then maybe price is just a second point. So what can we do in Twinner and how we approach this situation with our technology? So in Twinner, we digitalize cars, usually use cars in our Twinner space. So we create a lot of data and the Twinner space is not just the photo booth that maybe some of you expect. The Twinner space is a sophisticated device with a lot of sensors, special lightning, special light frequencies, so that we capture a lot of interesting data from the car that's inside the Twinner space. We bring that data into the cloud, and within the cloud, we do a lot of data enrichment. There is AI working on the, on the images, um, cropping the images, finding special things on the images. Uh, we are adding a lot of detailed data from different interfaces, so to do all the description of the car, all the details. And at the end, the customer receives a digital twin of that vehicle and can use then this digital twin for car inspection purposes or also for remarketing purposes and so on. You can do even more on this digital twin. But I think the, the, the great value of the digital twin is that you can use it in a car transaction and you can check the car, you can see the car, same as the same experience as you would stand in front of the car. So you don't need to travel to the, to the car dealer. You don't need to go there, spend time. Uh, you can see the car. You can't touch it, but you can see everything. And that's actually um, what we want to show you today. And even more, my colleague Marcus will show you a complete new technology that we just brought into the Twinner space. So here you see a picture of the Twinner space, which is a device um, that we bring to our customers to scan the vehicles or the cars at our, at our customer premises. And in the following short video, you see how the representation of that car within a so-called 360 degree widget is happening. So you can use that widget to really Check the car from different angles. You can you can turn it. There are different camera levels, so an eye level camera, a top level camera. So you see, have a you really have a full life experience. Zoom down, see all issues with the car, see little damages like you have just seen the scratch on the on the rim. Uh, check the engine compartment, open doors and flaps. So it's really, really like you would stand in front of the car. And you can even jump inside the car that you will see right now. Also here, you have the full 360 degree experience. You can zoom down, see all the details, check if there is something wrong with the car, for example, if there are some scratches, you have an underbody scan. Now, can you imagine if I would have that scan with my Mustang, I would have seen those rusty holes at least. So here you see, like if you would have the car on the bridge, it's full transparent. And if a customer can see all those images here, I think this is really generating trust. Um, and then next, topic here, what I would like to highlight, you can highlight special features, you can highlight certain equipment 
uh, topics. You can highlight scratches, dance, so you can show really everything to your customer and you can guide like with a tour just through that vehicle. And this is just the beginning. And what you see on the, on the next slide, sorry, should switch to the next slide. One second, please. So we spoke about this 360 degree um, the widget that I have just shown you. So which is really shown all the exterior and the interior of, this, of that vehicle. You can easily integrate it into your remarketing platform as our partner CarNext in Germany just have done. So you easily can integrate the technology into your online sales portal where all your customers come in and will have access to all the core details. So now this is just the first step. Um, but beside the remarketing part, so presenting the car from all sides, from all angels, from all, from all perspectives, it's quite important also for you if you do the inspection, if you do the trade in to understand in what conditions is that vehicle? How has it been used? For example, there's a law in Germany that you need to tell to your used car customer that the vehicle before was used as a, as a commercial vehicle or as a taxi, because this is quite important for a used car. And like this example here, so on the left-hand side, you see a typical image that you would see if you, if you have the car on, in your online platform, you don't see that that car has been used for commercial use, but on the right-hand side, with some of our technologies, you easily can see that car has been used for commercial purposes. And this is something you need to tell to your customer. And even if you show it on your platform, this is about transparency and trust so your, your customer can see, okay, that was an inter and commercial vehicle and I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy to buy it because there's a pricing advantage, for example. But this is just the first level and we can go deeper and deeper and deeper. And my colleague Marcus now will take over and will tell you what even more we can do with this. Now, thank you, Thomas, and a uh, warm welcome to the audience from my side. Um, first, I'd like to give you a brief intro to our new technology and answer the most important two questions. Why was it developed and how does it work? Those are, in my eyes, the most important questions. If you have uh, further questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask us. So um, the why is explained very easily for us, and our clients, the vehicle paint is an important indicator to evaluate the condition of a vehicle for leasing car return, vehicle purchase, appraisers, and many, many more business cases. And that's why we developed this sensor. Um, the how it works needs a little bit more words. So we, we are, can you hear me? Okay. So uh, we are analyzing the reflection properties of the vehicle surface. So it's not a paint thickness measurement in this case. And this analysis is happening not only for the visible light, but also in the spectral ranges invisible to the human eye. So therefore, we are detecting age differences in the paint and making um, visible repainted vehicle parts, original parts not painted at the factory, removed foiling, ETC. So this uh, multispectral view can physically only be created in a closed measurement environment. And that's our twin of space in this case. Since you can always promise a lot of uh, things on slides with some images, I have prepared a few real examples from various tests with, um, on the one hand, customer, and on the other hand, employee vehicles. Um, I think, uh, let's have a look how um, those examples are working. So um, in the first example, I'd like to show you how we make replaced parts visible. In this specific case, it's a replaced passenger door, and I guess you can't find anything by looking with your eyes on these two UHD pictures. Um, by switching now to the repaint sensor view, it becomes quite quickly and very clearly that the passenger door has been replaced by the simple fact that the door is highlighted in a very dark color compared to the rest of the body, as you can see. Yeah. 
You can see here, this indicates that the replacement has taken place. Jador. So the next one is a good example for spot and smart repair. Again, I guess you can't find anything by looking with your eyes on the UHD pictures. However, the switch to the repair view quickly shows that the rear bumper, by zooming in, has been repainted from the driver's side to the center with a slight fading. You can see it here, especially uh, well visible at the transition to the original paint. So let's move on to my personal favorite. Once again, nothing unusual is visible through the OHD images. But the switch to the repair view allows the visualization of previously foiling and stickers, and thus the visualization of a part of the vehicle history. As you can see, this vehicle was in his previous life a company car of a facility service company called Gebäude Service Dietrich. And you can even call them directly, call 020 for uh, Wuppertal, and maybe you can reach someone here. Um, the last example I want to share with you is. Um, the following, it's again based on visual light, nothing is visible, and in another wavelength range, broken fog or water infiltrated headlights or lamps can be made visible, as you can see in this example. Uh, so through the search we see very clearly what is not clear here, and uh, those are the headlights, these are fogged. And um, those are my four examples what we are capable to do with our X-ray, with our repaint sensor. So what is next? Um, besides those examples, I would like also to share some numbers with you from a pilot with an OEM. Um, so far, we have checked together with the OEM 2,035 vehicles with this new technology. Of these, 264 components were repainted. This is our actual ground roof data. And this was gathered through um, appraiser reports from appraiser companies who's working for this OEM. 198 repainted parts were directly visible via our uh, repaint sensor, which in turn leads to a recognition rate of 75%. So in our eyes, this is a great success, which can be, of course, extended and help us to improve our product step by step. Um, but for us, it's a, a great success um, having those 75% uh, reached. Hence, the reasonable question is, what's next? Of course, we want to increase, on the one hand, the recognition rate for the surface analyzers repaint sensor from now 75% to a level um, well above 95 to 99% by extending the technology for black cars, for example. We also further develop and, and embed and test other sensors for scratch and dent recognition of the vehicle surface for performing the inspection remotely. And um, in addition to this, we, we also focus on other topics. Uh, besides those main focus topics, we're also developing other features in order to fulfill the use cases of remarketing and inspection for our clients and partners. Um, and herewith an invitation goes out to the entire audience to use this unique game-changing invention and help us making it better and better together. Now, having said all this, from our perspective, the time for black sheep like this nice gentleman has come to an end and through the use of this unique technology. I'm sure you remember Mr. Wormwood from the movie Matilda who is just selling lemons all the day. Um, so the trust of the end customers once again being built based on transparency. And that is what Twinner is all about. Um, thank you for your attention. Um, it was a great pleasure to speak in front of you. We look forward to your questions in the remaining time. But before that, let me promise this to you, this one thing, whenever you will see a lemon, you will now have Twinner in mind. Thank you again. Thank you, uh, Thomas. Thank you, Marcus, for this interesting highlights so presentation. Um, I have a question to you, uh, guys. Um, can you detect the damage with high quality of image, so an artificial intelligence? So, of course, this is possible to detect um, images based on UHD images. 
But um, what we figured out over the last years of uh, testing um, is that you will mostly detect damages of insurance relevant size. That means if you're looking for small scratches, dents, or other things, then it will not work out with UHD images. Therefore, we need to develop such sensors like uh, uh, shown before our surface analyzers, and of course, additional sensors like for scratches, for dents, different light settings, uh, different uh, post-processing methods, different filter techniques. That is definitely necessary. Uh, even high-class or world-class AI will not uh, work just based on uh, um, UHD images. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and another question to you. Um, in the context of selling used car, whom will this technology generate the most value for? What should be really so the added value for, for this? Of course, we are focusing on different target groups. Um, mm -hmm. So high value is definitely for, for leasing car returns, as already mentioned, uh, for fleets, um, the OEMs. Uh, are using this as well for their own fleets and and uh, lease car return. Uh, I the companies can can use our technology to be faster in terms of inspection. Uh, doesn't matter if, if you're on site or remotely. Um, there there are a lot of target groups uh, we can imagine right now, but even target groups maybe we cannot imagine today who could use our technology. I mean, it's something here. So I, I strongly believe the biggest value at the end is for the end user who is buying that car because he can then trust the uh, the, the seller. He can trust the car. That's it's fine. That everything is is shown as is. I mean, doesn't matter if there is a scratch or if there is something, but you just need to know about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, there is no over questions, uh, but uh, for sure. So uh, if any anybody has a question after th that later, so I will invite you to contact Marcus and Thomas. So and they will be certainly happy to support you and to provide more information. Um, thank you, Guy. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Marcus, for, for this presentation. Um, for the next 15 minutes, so let me invite you for the networking time. So don't hesitate to visit the virtual village presenting all of our partners, including Twinner, of course. And at 3.40, we will meet again, so on main stage for the CARA presentation, the war for talent. So that's a really so key and interesting so title. So thanks uh, everybody for uh, at your attending so and see you later. Thank you Marcus, thank you Thomas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank bye, you. Bye. Goodbye. bye bye. Bye bye.